This video was produced by Alabama View, a member state of the America View, a consortium dedicated to promoting remote sensing outreach, education, and research. Funded by United States Geological Society, or USGS. Its contents are solely the responsibility of the authors and do not necessarily represent the official views of America View, the USGS, or other partners. The mention of trade names or commercial products does not constitute their endorsements. Hey Alabamians, PSA. You should care about what's in your water, because water is vital for all known forms of life, even though it provides no calories. Not only that, but where water comes into your state is also important to know in order to keep the source clean and safe to drink for everyone as it affects us in every way. Alabama's water resources are important for economic growth and sustainability and for quality of life. The rivers, lakes, and streams in the state help to sustain communities, provide support for industries and jobs, generate power, irrigate crops, provide critical transportation to avenues and links, maintain wildlife, and provide many opportunities for recreation. We have three sectors of water use. First is public supply. Second is agriculture. This includes aquaculture, golf courses, irrigation, and livestock. And third, industrial, thermoelectric, and mining. Did you know that one study done by the NEFF or the National Environmental Education Foundation called Home Water Use in the United States by Sarah Blount stated, in Alabama, about 365 million gallons of water is withdrawn and delivered every day for domestic use, with the average Alabama resident using 76 gallons per day in and around their home. But what if the water you are drinking is contaminated? Have you ever thought why and wondered what should be done to prevent that? And are there people who really care and are researching about this? Yes, there are people who do this type of research, which helps us have a better understanding about it. And so we would like to thank them. And most importantly, thank Tristan Orndorff from the Crop, Soils and Environmental Department for his excellent thesis work under Dr. Matthew Waters, Dr. Brantley and Dr. Stephanie Shepard at Auburn University, whose research we will be using to portrait this information in our first video of 2022. Here we have the map of rivers in Alabama. Alabama has two main sources of water, which are the two reservoirs, Weiss Lake and Lay Lake, on the Coosa River, that are very important to our state. And going further in the video, we will highlight what is happening to them today through the spatial methods like remote sensing and ArcGIS. This is a map of the Coosa River, as well as the two reservoirs of interest. Weiss Lake is depicted in navy, and Lay Lake is depicted in orange. Now we will be showing heat maps of the two reservoirs that indicate the mineral ratio of contamination that was observed. But before that, we need to understand what heat maps are. A heat map is a data visualization technique that shows the magnitude of phenomenon as color in two dimensions. The variation in color that you will be seeing the maps may be due to hue or intensity, giving obvious visual cues to the reader about how this phenomenon is clustered or varies over space. This is a heat map that shows us the carbon nitrogen ratio and nitrogen phosphorus ratio in Weiss Lake. Weiss Lake is the only storage reservoir on the Coosa River and was created by Alabama Power in 1961 to have both a spillway and hydroelectric powerhouse that are approximately six kilometers apart. This separation created a unique finger-like morphology as you can see in the figure and two different pools of water that are connected by a diversion canal. Lay Lake is a narrow linear run off river reservoir and has a surface area of 48.6 kilometers. Lay Lake is deeper than Weiss Lake with an average depth of 6.7 meters and is surrounded by three upstream, including Weiss Lake, and two downstream reservoirs. Through the study and the maps provided, we can see that the river is being contaminated by the minerals and we should take action as these lakes are our source of water and it is used in many ways such as Weiss Lake is used for hydropower, recreation, 
irrigation, drinking water, and flood control, and it has suffered from multiple water quality issues or eutrophication, stemming from increased urban sprawl, as well as erosion and sedimentation from construction, forestry, and agriculture activities. Septic systems along the shoreline of Weiss Lake are periodically defective, increasing nutrient and organic loading. Lay Lake provides hydropower, water supply, recreation, and wildlife habitat, and has constantly been labeled as impaired for excessive organic material, nutrient inputs, and eutrophication. Thus, geospatial techniques, which includes remote sensing and precise location maps, can be used to create these water contamination maps, helping understand the locations which need cleaning and decontamination, essential in environmental monitoring and natural resource management, and it also surveys the human impact on the environment. It also tracks ocean circulation, temperature, and wave heights to understand ocean and water resources better. Remote sensing is also useful in different fields like forestry, agriculture, meteorology, ecology, military and economic planning, and etc., depending on the motive. For more information on remote sensing data, click on the link below. A huge thank you for watching this video. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel for more information and other interesting videos.